Welcome everybody back into Nerd Sesh. As always, I'm Carson Breber and alongside me is Logan Camden. And today we have with us two special guests, Kofi Yaboa and Danny Cuneo, who are going to be playing some trivia with us, going head to head, splitting into two teams. But first things first, gentlemen, how are we doing today? I'm doing great, man. I I know I'm more of a researcher than the off the top of the head person, but I'm so excited for trivia always and i'm glad to be here hell yeah yeah man same here sam stoked to be here as um you know as someone who's put a lot of hours in the gym and sporkle um you know as the great will parcells would say that's why you lift all them weights so here we so go true. i'm ready to go <laughs> so true man <laughs> sporkle is gonna be a, a big asset here all right so way we're gonna do this for those of you who haven't seen our trivia episodes before Two teams, like I said, Kofi and Logan are going to be together. Danny and I are going to be together. We're going to do 10 questions total, or 10 questions per team, I should say. Not a lot of strict rules here. We have a five-minute time limit per question. And then, technically, you guys have the right to ask for one hint. But if a question is harder, then we might just offer you up more hints because we want to see everybody thrive here. We're trying to, to lift everybody up. So... First order of business, Logan Kofi. What do you guys want your team name to be? I think we have to be like, I don't know. I think we have to be like Pablo Sanchez or something like that, right, Kofi? Pablo's fan club? Yeah. Pablo's fan club. Yeah. Okay. That's good. Danny, any thoughts for us? Carson, what's your what's your favorite team? Who's your favorite team? My favorite teams are the Buffalo Bills and the Golden State Warriors, I would say. Okay. Um so we could do like the the worst than Splash Brothers, like the Splash Cousins. Uh, Splash Cousins. Or the... I kind of like that actually. <laughs> yeah. All right, let's do it. I honestly think you hit that first try. Yeah. All right. Perfect. Pablo's fan club yeah. versus the Splash Cousins. So, Logan, what do you got for us? First question. I also just want it on the record. I too like Danny. Uh, I work out at the library. Um... <laughs> <laughs> All right. Wait, but you don't know how to read. So how does that work? <laughs> Very true. <laughs> I'm just I'm just there. I just spend a lot of hours there. All right, guys. Very simple. You guys get one crack at this one. All of these players' names are shared by an NFL player and NBA player except one. I need you guys to tell me who the odd man out is. Chris Paul, Willie Parker, Michael Jordan, Vernon Maxwell, and Jeff Green. Who is the odd man out? This is a sick question. Wow. As in, like, twisted. Yeah. I really don't know. Off this the top is of my wild. Head. Okay. This is round one. Thanks. Let's immediately. And the clock has started. Yeah. The okay. clock has started, but it's it's a loose clock. It's a generous okay. clock. First okay. things first, we can eliminate Vernon Maxwell because if Logan, like, threw that in there and there isn't an NFL Vernon Maxwell, then he's sick beyond my wildest imagination. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, back and then the, can I get the names one more time? Just yeah. uh, okay, Chris. So I, I'll 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 tip you guys off. That is that is good intuition. I would not just throw Mad Max in there. Uh, Chris <laughs> Paul, <laughs> Willie Parker, Michael Jordan, and Jeff Green. Okay, so there's definitely an offensive lineman named Michael Jordan. I I is. know that for sure. I concur. That's what I was about to say. But outside Willie of Parker. that, that's what I'm trying to think of the NBA Willie Parker because if. I'm going to have a strength that's going to be thinking who is the NBA guy, NFL dudes. I don't know. There's eight. Because here's the thing. I think that Logan's a smart guy. I don't no, know, him, but that's where you're like wrong. a smart guy. Wrong. All right. Well, maybe I'm wrong. <laughs> but what I think, what I think he might have done here is he may have switched Logan. Uh, he may have switched Willie Parker and Willie Green when he threw the Jeff Green in there because there is a Willie Green. There's sure, there's But I don't is. know if there's a Willie Parker. Yeah, and then Jeff Green's pretty thought. generic enough. It is. I, I think there is an NFL Chris Paul. I don't know though, but I think I there would, is. I, I, I would, I would agree. I feel, I'm, I feel like I haven't heard, but I feel like that's like a fourth string reserve nickelback on Minnesota for sure. <laughs> I think. Here's, but... here's my concern with the Willie Parker thing is, although I agree it's concerning that I can't think of an NBA player named Willie Parker. Yeah. It would be weird if all of the correct answers were guys you think of in the NBA who also happen to have an obscure NFL guy, and then the one mm -hmm. NFL to NBA 
did not exist. I feel like Logan wants a little more balance in the answer than that. We are playing the the player here entirely because yeah, I don't know either you is... or I know if there's a Jeff Green in no. the NFL or a Willie Parker in the NBA. Jeff Green's such a good one too because we're gonna feel stupid if we get it wrong because it's like it's Jeff Green. It's like a most generic name of all time, but also there might not be a Jeff Green in football. It just might have never happened. So. Yeah. Oh, I'm trying to think oh. about the times that I've like thought I'm on basketball reference, but I'm on football yeah. reference. And I type yeah, in his yeah, name yeah. and I'm like, does somebody come up? I it's, think it's, I mean it's one of those two. Willie Parker. Too. I am inclined to say Jeff Green, but that feels a little bit crazy because that is a common name. But what are you thinking? I think. We go a little crazy. I think we go Jeff. You Jeff. know Logan better right. than I. I think we go Jeff. I think we go crazy. All right. Like we were at the library. You guys read me like a book. Let's well go. done. Uh, Chris Paul, a Washington offensive lineman and the Warriors point guard. Obviously, Michael Jordan, Bengals interior offensive lineman. Yeah. And obviously, Bulls shooting guard. Vernon Maxwell, a Colts linebacker and rocket shooting guard. Jeff Green, not shared by, an, uh, by a football player. Willie Parker, Steelers running back, and that's actually Tony Parker's first name. William Parker. Wow. Is his oh, <laughs> oh my god! Wow! Wow! Dude. No. I, I need totally water. I need forgot water. that. That is a fantastic pull. I did not know this, dude. The logical oh deduction, <laughs> I, the, the reasoning there was impeccable, guys. I'm, I'm impressed. Okay, if we can get that one, I feel good because that is like the most <laughs> chance-based one that there will probably be, but yeah. very good question, Logan. All right, okay. so Kofi, Logan, I know both of you guys have a love for your sports video games. Of course, Kofi, you got the backyard football there behind you. So we're going to start off with that theme. Can you guys name me the 10 highest-rated players in Madden 09? <laughs> <laughs> no. Yes, probably. <laughs> So I know that I know that Peyton Manning went was a 99 overall from Correct. Madden 06 to Madden like 11 or 12. That's actually a video I've been working on for a while. Um, Andre Johnson's got to be here, right? Andre Johnson is not. You have um, to be a 98 or 99 to be on this list. Oh, wow. So I'm gonna say a 98 is Brady as well. Brady's in that probably. Brady's a 99. Yeah, Brady's ninety nine. Yeah. What absolutely. about uh? What about Joe Thomas? That's a good guess, but he's not here. Okay, so we have two right now. Ed Reed. Oh, that's Ed good... Reed is correct. He's a ninety eight. Um. Let's say cheese. Ray Lewis. Ray Lewis. Yeah, the Madden loves Ray Lewis. Got to be uh, Ray right. Lewis is actually not. No. So no. let's Michael. see about Ray Lewis was a ninety five in this game. So, okay. So if it's not, because Ray Lewis used to be a 99, just like off the rip, but those were mm -hmm. like the earlier Maddens. Oh man, this is tough. Troy Andre Palomalu. Johnson, Palomalu. also a 95 Palomalu, yeah. for what it's worth. Yeah. Palomalu, Palomalu is a 97. So, but, but is that, because top 10 in the entire game, is that in that range? Well, you have to be a 98 or 99. So he's yeah, okay. dead soft. <laughs> so, yeah. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> Carson, is this the uh, Fitz Palomalu cover? Is this the Favre cover? Which one was it? I think this is the Favre. This was the Favre cover, right? So this, yeah. is the Favre, this is the Favre Madden test ass. Yeah, when they <laughs> thought he was riding off yeah. into the sunset and then he unretired four times. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. There's no. There's, I mean, Brian Walker. Erlacher, yeah, like, 98. Okay. Wow. Cause usually usually Ray wow. and Erlacher are like together, like mm -hmm. in the Damn. so that's why I was like the 95 thing. I feel like I wonder if there's a kicker involved. Ooh. Like, <laughs> oh like, wow. It's been a cheer. Fun fact, fun fact <laughs> when I looked at Madden 06, that was the first game I was gonna do. There were three kickers or punters, and I was like, all right, we're not doing this. <laughs> that's insane. Oh man. Um Jonathan Ogden. Oh, I love that. That's a I good love that. Yes. He I don't, I don't think so. Okay. Because there are some, there are some like linemen. Whoa. Definitely. Willie Shields? No, I think might Not be Willie late Shields. For Willie Shields. There is a lineman here, though. That's there good is a lineman. Oh, man. Who is that? Who Alan is that Fanica? guy? Oh, it's not Fanica, but he's going to be really high, too. 
Panic at 95. I thought Joe Thomas was a lock. To do me Joe too. Joe Thomas was a lock. Joe Thomas. Nick, Nick Mangold. Ooh. Not Nick Mangold. Joe Thomas was a 96. Ugh. That's tough. And I know Moss Disrespect. is like a 90. Moss is like a definitely like 93. Um, cause... Yeah, I, I, there's got to be a wide out here too. It surprised me that it's not Andre. Like, is it Megatron? Is that the there's 90? A wi- oh. There's Ooh. a wide out here. It's it's a little early for Megatron because he came in just to like the last Madden. Is it? It's not. Yeah. T- um. Oh, if it's. Is it number eighty eight for the Colts? <laughs> it is not. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I don't even know who that is. Honestly. I don't know. Who, yeah, I'm who is aware. that guy? I, I have no, no idea. idea. Uh, <laughs> Logan recently learned some very disturbing news about number 88 for the Colts that he somehow didn't know previously. <laughs> I had to break yeah. it to him. He looked like he was near tears. Live, yeah. on, the po- live on the pod, too. <laughs> oh. it's like, I hate to break it to you, but... Uh... <laughs> the draft coverage of his son is going to be wild. <laughs> like, yeah, you know, yeah. Dude, Chris Johnson, is he a, run- is he a running back here? Oh. Ooh. Chris Johnson is not actually here. He was a oh wow, not even a ninety four. Well, his two K wow. season comes this year, you know. Um, yeah. yeah. Well, this was just after his rookie year, so yeah. Mm. Oop, sorry. Not. I don't think it's Sean Alexander because that's like the past. Uh, I'll give you a hint on the wide receiver. You guys did name him. But is it that, Randy? Is it Randy? Randy Moss. Randy was a 99 what? in this game. Wow. In, in, o, in oh. 09? Yeah, I guess we got to have coming a... off the Pats. Oh. Dominance. Yeah. We got to have. You know, Tony he was Gonzalez, that good. Right? Yeah. I said it. Okay. I thought he was oh. a 90. Because I remember there's one game I thought he was like a 93. And it, I was would, like... it would make sense because he wasn't actually that great in 2008. But I guess they were just giving him his. Yeah. I think what's great, I think they might have given him the bump because that was the Matt Castle season. So they were like, it's not his fault, guys. Matt was throwing to him. You know, so yeah. Um is it is Tony Gonzalez here? There's gotta be a tight end, right? Ooh, it's good not guess. Tony, but Gates. Yeah, Gates okay. was a 98, That's Tony good. was a 97. Okay, what are we what are we at now? We got four to go, right? You guys have four to go. A couple of DBs, and then the lineman. Revis, Revis. It's actually not Durrell. He what? was not a 94 or higher either. Oh Charles my... Charles Woodson. Oh Woodson, yeah, Woodson is a good guess. No, Nam Azamu is going to be here, isn't he? <laughs> He's not, but. <laughs> the actor? <laughs> uh... Wow. Um... Okay, they're a bunch of, they're a bunch of DBs. Legendary, legendary. One of whom is fascinating here, but makes sense from a particular angle. <clears throat> like <clears throat> you would not think of him as one of the great DBs of this era, but when he played, he was Bob Sanders. Bob Sanders. Oh, I was nice. trying not to give that wow. away, yeah, but yeah. then I felt like I was being weirdly vague. Bob Sanders is a ninety-nine in this game, dude. Earned, earned. He's unreal, yeah. unreal. God. I remember the this the, was them, the on off with him that year was like staggering. Yes. Like from that period, it was a difference of like over ten points per game. I want to say when Bob was on wow. the field versus off, it was nuts. That must have been his. This must have been his depoy year, right? I think he probably won Defensive Player of the Year year before. I think his depoy was 06. Let me check. Wow. That. Can we get can we get position groups oh, no. or something for these last three guys? Yeah, this so is, this is true. For what it's worth, 07 was his depoy, and then he was hurt for most of 08. So I think they were just like, he's definitely the same guy, but then he like literally barely ever played again. Yeah. Yeah. So oh. positions. You have one DB left, one O lineman, <laughs> one running back. A oh, running backs left. Ooh. A 99 overall running back. I wouldn't think it'd be Peterson because Peterson is just coming off his rookie year. Yeah. Um, I'm just or going through the Stephen Jackson, Ladanian Tomlinson, Jamal Charles. No. MJD. Yeah. You guys okay. have named the player. There it is. We have. Yep. Steven Jackson? Mm-mm. 
Jamal Thousand Charles. Mm -mm. <laughs> Dang, I thought I was on something. Kobe's yeah. just going to run back every time. Yeah, no, no, oh, oh, God. Oh. <laughs> Which, I mean, fair enough. Wait. Yeah. Is it Ladanian? It's LT, dude. Oh, yeah, Still a 99. Yeah. Yep. yeah, yeah. Wow, Gates and Ladanian both 99s. That team was fun. It's a fun yeah. Madden team. Okay. <sighs> Offensive lineman. What are that, what on that, the O line part? Are we looking interior or outside? This guy wants me to tell him. I'm sorry. The like, <laughs> there's so at. many guys. Looking at an, in, you're looking at an interior tough. lineman, Logan. And I guess let's Steve like Hutchinson. That's exactly who it is. 98. Wow. Wow. Um, huge hit. <laughs> One DB to go. This was a good era for DBs. Yeah, Asante that's Samuel. That's a great Not question. Asante Samuel. Is it Antonio Cromartie? Mm -mm. These are great guesses, Ooh. though. Let me see how high these. Cromartie are. had that one year where he had like seven or eight picks or something, man. He yeah. Was Samuel was a ninety-five. It's not not like a. Uh, and this was the era of football where even if you were a good defensive back, they'd still throw it your way, so you could get like eight <laughs> or nine picks. <laughs> wow. Um, I have guesses, but I know they're not right, so that's why I'm just like, nah. I don't know if this is a dead giveaway, but I didn't know this, and it's pretty funny, so I'm going to say it. This dude has a brother named Boss. Oh, that is a giveaway. Oh, right, well, oh. I loved him. Champ Bailey. Champ wow. Bailey. Wow. Man, nice. Wow. That was a, that that's was a, a trip. To, that's a trip down memory Ooh. lane right there. Yeah. That's good job, very guys. True. We're going to stick to that lane, guys. Uh, there is a big crossover between Kofi and sports video games. So, guys... From NBA Street Volume 2, one of these players is not a real special character. I need you to tell me who it is. We got Biggie Little, Bonafide, Dime, Osmosis, Stretch, Whitewater, and Carnasty Brubberman the Fourth. Wait, one of them is not okay. a real? Yeah, one, one of them's of not, not real. real. I'm gonna go with Carnasty Breverman the Fourth. Why would you think that? Like, you guys don't want to go with like Osmosis or something? <laughs> is this <laughs> actually <laughs> your question? You guys don't want to go with like Bonafide or Biggie Little? First of all, I know Bonafide's a real guy. I've met Bonafide. He's actually a really nice guy, uh, and he still plays pickup. Uh, Stretch is obviously the goat. Bonafide is Bonafide. Osmosis was the only one that I thought might not be real because I thought you just might be referencing Osmosis Jones, but right. also <laughs> sounds like a real guy. I would probably go with the last one. Yeah. I mean, yeah. Sounds... I'm going to go with that considering. Dude, I was getting <laughs> buckets with Carnasty Breverman in the fourth in that game. <laughs> Logan, I'm, I'm chalking this up as the worst question in trivia time history, but to be fair, thank God, because I've never played NBA Street 2, so I, I was going to have no idea. I was going to need to lean on Danny Heavy. Oh, All right, yeah. I mean, obviously, Carnassi Brubberman is a play on Carson's name. <laughs> there but, we go. Yeah, go <laughs> Excellent wordplay. I was gonna say, a big fan. I, that yeah. sounds like my next Madden creative player. It sounds like my next superstar. Mode. Yeah. No, I mean, that is what they call me when I step onto the court. But actually, they call me Granddaddy Hoops because I shoot a a sky. <laughs> a <lot. laughs> yeah, that's baller. That's Dude, baller. It's I'm I'm six three. I've got a six seven wingspan, which projects really well to the next level. So you know, I got that. I got that reach <laughs> on them. Yeah. Okay, I'm gonna ask you guys a question about actual sports. In 2014, three players made an All NBA team for the only time in their entire career. Who are those three players? I'm gonna guess. Is that the DeAndre Jordan year where they just ran out of centers? I like that. Maybe it's uh, it's not, but that's a might, good line of thinking. Like the, oh, there was a there was a year there there are years where like they just like their centers were just like, hey, we don't. <laughs> Dude, I mean, I think yeah. Bogut Bogut got a third team one year. I think. <sighs> What so about it was like that era before the stretch era where they were like, eh. <laughs> <laughs> it was ugly with the bigs for a minute, for sure. Uh, let's see. 2014. Mark Gasol. Oh, very good thinking. Who I'm else? Thinking, oh, yeah, I'm thinking bigs. You guys Zeebo. are in the lane. Zeebo. No. Oh, I'm definitely thinking like, yeah. The, uh, oof. This guy oh. arguably had a better season. Actually, I would say just flat out had a better season than anybody you've named, but he is in the same category when you're thinking about these dudes. Boogie. Mm -mm. Yeah. Boogie was better than that. That's Davis's third year. So no, I'm going to say no to that. Going through the bigs. 
2014. That was the uh, was that the Spurs year when they when they yeah. got revenge on the Heat. It okay. was. Yeah. Person that sent me down a Nikola Pekovic rabbit hole now. Um, <laughs> All right, I'll, I'll give you guys even a little more here. This dude was first team this season. My God. And then. And and top five in MVP voting. Blake Griffin. Jesus Christ. Not Blake. You got to remember, Blake, Logan. Blake, only Blake. all NBA appearance of their careers. Ever. Ever. Okay. Before or after. Never made it again. Oh, oh man. I think I know. But I also don't. Dan- <laughs> Danny, you couldn't put a strategy of get something to write down so then you can <laughs> yes. show it later and say, look uh, at me. Yeah, I'll get a, a little pen and paper. It's moonlight. No. Or, dude, I mean, Danny, just like feel free to like blurt it out if you want. <laughs> well, no, yeah. hold on. I mean, like, here's some ideas. <laughs> it rhymes with puke blongly. Uh... <laughs> um, it's not 13. 13, 14. I'm just like look like thinking through the teams. Oh right my now. gosh, is it Joe Kim Noah? Joe Kim Noah, Logan, number one, first now, team, first team. Oh no, we're yeah. This, no, that's this was his. That's a that's season. a wild era. He was playmaking like a <laughs> <laughs> like the genius that he was, the basketball genius that he was. Okay, you guys have another big here because it was that era. Who you Tyson, have not named? Tyson Chandler. Mm-mm, good thinking. Yeah, Nick's good. legend, but I less in Chandler. that lane of dudes who you think of as like great defensive players who had limited offensive skill. He was more offensively slanted. Uh, don't say Al Jefferson. There's no. Oh, way. it's Al Jefferson. No. <laughs> <laughs> Al Jefferson was third team All NBA in 2014. I, what era, man? I'm I'm glad Steph Curry just saved the NBA, man. Oh. We were headed. We were headed down a. <laughs> Dude, Big Al was good for 20 a night, man. He could get you that on the low block. But it is true. The depth of, like, legitimately elite players 10 years ago versus now, it is a it's a stark difference. That was a yeah. little lull. It was a little lull in the NBA for, like, three years there. Wait, Carson, which um, what team was he on when he made this all-NBA <laughs> team? Uh, he was on the Because I don't even know. The wow. Hornets. Oh, no. I was going to say the Wolves. Oh, Still my Still the goodness. Bobcats, though, I think, at that point. I think this was a this was like a that, hoop grid this was like a hoop grid answer like yeah. three weeks ago and I was just like yeah. guys everybody please <laughs> record it's all NBA <laughs> somebody that was their last year as the Bobcats Logan you are correct Carson is is the last guy another big no it's a guard okay Oof. a guard a guard that was here and just disappeared we love that um. What about uh, Ty Lawson? Mm, interesting thought. No. That's too... I, I think feel like Darren Williams has more than one. I would think so, too. Yeah, but that's probably too late. Yeah. Gordon, I think it's Gordon as many Brogic. coaches as he's gotten fired. Oh, my God. Drogic is a Logan. great... Yeah. Is it Drogic? Nice pull, dude. It's oh. Drogic. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> he got that with Phoenix? Yeah, dude. For it's Drogic. a crazy what season. A I'm gonna be honest. Wow. I do not. I do not miss that era. Like that's kind of insane <laughs> to think about. Yeah, that's that's got to be the least nostalgic era. Like people are so nostalgic for the late 2000s, nostalgic for the 90s, 80s, obviously everything. But I feel like the early 2010s. I guess you get your people who were like loved Mello, and he was the whole world to them. But Mello, yeah. and then like Heat Braun, aka a time yeah. skip for me, a Pistons fan. Like I was like, we're, we're done. <laughs> Let's put let's put Greg Monroe, Andre Drummond, and Josh Smith on the same court. Oh, yeah. That's what that's what we were that's what we were oh, on. And we thought we were cooking. That was yeah. forward thinking right there. <laughs> yeah. Great question. Thank that was great. You. All right, guys, we're gonna flip sides to the NFL one time. Can you guys name the five fastest quarterbacks to a hundred career wins? Ooh, so this is by games started, correct? correct. All right, so. I'm just going to think about the dudes with the best winning percentage. Obviously, Pat's not there yet. 
Oh, don't do that, Carson. Don't do that. I might have a question about that in the future. So, like, just like chill out. Well, what if I just said Daryl LaMonica right now? Oh, just chill out. Just chill out on your tongue. Let's go. Can I change my question right now? No, 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 no. Steve Young. Does Steve Young have a hundred career wins? I actually don't think he does. He's probably really close. It's because it's a harder stat to get to than you think. A hundred wins is. is a lot it's of a lot. Games. Yeah, just like yeah, that's a lot of years. So let's start with Tom Brady. Let's Number three. three. Joe Montana. I'm pre- Montana's yeah. not here actually. No way. I'm pretty sure this quarterback beat Brady to that mark. I is it Russell Wilson? Russell Wilson is number one. Yeah. Wow. Well played, Danny. And I'm going to go with Peyton because outside of his rookie year, they were always great. Number two. Yeah. Okay. Is Big Ben here? Yeah. Y'all keep rolling. Number four. All you're missing is number Good. five. You're Brady. pushing agendas with this question. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying to think. Staubach didn't get to 100 wins. He's Logan fact check me 85 and 29 in his career. Oh my gosh, let's see. I think that's, that's exactly that's it. disturbing. Let's that's <laughs> money in the bank. That's why. That's why. That's why. That's why you play the game. Good Mont- luck. That's I mean, why you wow, play the game. Carson. Uh, credit to your other guests too. Montana, 100 career win or 117 career wins, just not one of the five fast. 117 and 47. Let me get it. That's ridiculous. Wow. Come is on. That's is it potential? <laughs> Go for it, Danny. Bang! I was gonna say, is that uh, <laughs> is it potentially supporting actor in the movie Fool's Gold, Terry Bradshaw? That, oh, that's who sh- I was thinking. That's a good former, thought. Former backup to Duck Dynasty legend Phil Robertson at Louisiana yes. Tech. Uh, Terry Bradshaw <laughs> is does have a hundred career wins. Uh, was not the fastest though. That's a really good guess because those yeah. were, were great. Again, Aikman feels like he could be here. They won so many games exactly. immediately, like immediately as soon as they as they started going. I mean, and it pains me as a Giants fan to say that, but and it's not Eli because he only made the playoffs four times in fifteen years. And somehow got two <laughs> rings out of it. <laughs> Psycho. But do you think it's Philip Rivers? Oh, no, don't no, do that. Come I on, don't Danny. So. Don't do that. I thought about yeah, him, that's... but. <laughs> he's, he's as soon as I like said it, super far. No, dude, they won a lot of games. They won a lot. They of did. Games. And that makes me think about Flacco, but I'm going to settle down. But the Ravens were really consistently really good. Yeah. Um, Rodgers, they were pretty decent early. Oh, Rodgers is a good thought. I mean, it's just his rookie year that I think they were like 6-10. and 10, But out, out, is Rodgers here? Rodgers is not a bad guess. I'd say that oh. not that this guy is better than all those guys, but oh, has, has a little more uh, – has a few more accolades. Um, well, actually, not more than Rodgers, similar to Rodgers. Actually, very similar to Rodgers, actually. It's not Johnny U, is it? Not Johnny U. I like that guess. Rodgers is over 100. Um, he lifetime is 147, 75, and 1. Johnny U, uh, 118, 63, and 4. I mean, these are great guesses. This guy's yeah. an all-timer, though. Did Breeze get enough starts in? Breeze is a really good guess. I mean, who accolades-wise is similar to a four-time oh, MVP? Rogers. There's not a lot. We said Peyton already. Yeah. Brady, obviously. Mm-hmm. And, I, you know, it's not David Garrard. No. So it's got to be. It's not Marino, is it? It's not Marino. Oh. Good guess. Kofi subtly glances at Drew Bledsoe. No, 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 no. No, <laughs> no that's not it. No. That'd be nuts if it was Drew. Uh, Kofi, Kofi's baiting us. <laughs> <laughs> No, this guy's the old this, bait and switch. This guy's got a lot of lot in common uh with uh with Rogers. Rogers. I mean, okay, is it yeah. Favre? Is it's it Favre? Favre? It's Brett Oh Favre. no. That's that's oh, why that's no. how I was like, ah, oh, and I, I was like, yeah. And then I looked at the Packers on the cover. I don't know. That's why <laughs> yeah, I was looking over there. Right. I was like, Packers. <laughs> nice. I was like, Kofi, Amir Khan's not a real guy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well played. Wow. Man. Man. I'm actually no, surprised well, like, by how many exact quarterback win loss records I know because I know that Favre is 186 and 114, and this must be some sort of illness <laughs> to, <laughs> to, to know all that for no reason. Okay, good <laughs> job, Danny. Good question, Logan. Guys, this is a tough one. I'm not going to lie to you. I'm not going to sugarcoat it. There are three running backs ever who totaled 10,000 or more career rushing yards but averaged under four yards per carry. Who are they? Emmett Smith. 
Not Emmett. I think he's at 4.2. Mm. Oh, are we? This is such a painful. Oh, first of all, great question and such a painful mm-hmm. question. Like, do you have to earn it to get ten thousand yards? Yeah, ten thousand is like, yeah, uh, so many yards. Now it's now it's me going like, okay, who? I I have to figure out like who, the cross between like ten thousand yards and like because I was like, I don't know if Jerome Bettis has, but that that yeah, no, no, I, I feel does. like Bettis, that's a good guess, but it feels like. Is that a yards per, you know, so because I mean, he's still running people over. You got to remember, I mean, Bus, though, for at the tail end of his career, I think that should be our first guess. Is Jerome here? Jerome is here. Great thinking, Ooh. gentlemen. There we go. Tail end of his career, he's go. getting like 10 carries a game for seven yards and two touchdowns. You know what <laughs> I mean? It's like because like, because part of me is like, yeah, we have to be like like respect the legend but we also kind of have to be a hater here being like the bus had a uh, had a couple engine problems by mm-hmm. like 35 yeah. 36 yeah no it's true i mean his last four years 3.6 yards per carry 3.3 3.8 3.3 oh. so excellent thinking right. 3.9 in his career what about what about rigo john riggins dude oh my god you guys are cooking Let's rigo has 3.9 as well and I'm not going to lie. Maybe this is just my brain. The last dude is the first dude I would think of because he is like way below everybody else in terms of efficiency for like the, the greats. He's not like an all-time great, but obviously has 10,000 yards. This dude, 3.6 yards per carry in his oh. career. Is it Pretty- Frank Gore? Oh, it's hey, not Gore. I like that. <laughs> but Gore <laughs> is a good thought. He's in the low fours. What 4. about Herschel Walker? Not Herschel Walker. Tony Dorsett. 4.2 for Walker. I'm trying to figure out, like, yeah, I'm like, I'm like, how much is 10,000 yards? You know, that's, 4.3 that's what for I... Dorsett. It's... This dude was, like, churning out 400 touch seasons. Like, he oh, was... It? It's got to be Marcus Allen, right? Not Marcus Allen. Oh. I figure with longevity, I... he'd be a lock. Danny, no, write wait. it down. Is it Earl Campbell? That's not Earl Campbell. Now we're yeah. Now we're getting into the. I've got one. I've got one down that would make my friend sad, but I do think it might be the right. <laughs> uh, now we're in like the NF. I'm in the, like the NFL doldrums now. Just be like, oh man, who could it? Who could it be? Uh, for what it's worth, Allen just four point one. So that's a good guess. Dude, four hundred touches a year. That's crazy. Tread on your tires, man. Yeah. Eric Dickerson. No. Ooh. This dude was not that good. To be clear, he wasn't okay. at that level. Ricky right. Waters, no, love Ricky. Dang. I I love Ricky too. Great receiving back too. Four hundred. Four and twenty years too early. <laughs> true, right, so. true. Oh man, I, I'm stuck between two guys. I'm writing them both down. Ricky Waters four point one though, Logan. That's a good thought, and he does meet that criteria. He had a four hundred touch season, hovered around there for a few years. Sean Alexander. No. A lot of so a lot of carries. What about Fred Taylor? Mm-mm. Dang. It's not yeah, it's not Marshall Falk either. I'm th- I'm just going through the mind. Like that's <laughs> not a bad strategy. Get yeah. through the Rolodex. That's what Got, this is yeah. all about. Kofi, what about uh any bangles <laughs> you're thinking of? Oh, sh- I mean, is Corey Dillon? I don't know if Corey Dillon's Corey cracking Dillon, the list. Yeah, no, not Corey Dillon. Let's see. Four point three for definitely not Rudy Johnson. Love him. No, no, yeah, no. Shout out Rudy. Shout out Rudy. Rudy, Rudy. <laughs> Rudy was off sides, guys. Oh come on! Sorry. <laughs> Man. I mean, he was. Listen, like my, he was. It's like my least favorite sport. That and Hoosiers. I don't. I can't stand. <laughs> I can't watch Hoosiers. Bro. Any movie, any movie that glorifies Notre Dame is a movie I don't need to watch. Yeah, uh, <laughs> get you. that out of here. Yeah, uh, we we ran the picket fence on like my fifth and sixth grade basketball team. So shout out Hoosiers for that. No way, that's amazing. <laughs> yeah. Um. Carson, can you can you ballpark us like a rough era? Are we looking yes. like post eighties, pre eighties, late nineties, okay. early two thousands? Okay, I think I got it. Oh man, oh man, That's... early two thousands. 
man, I don't think OJ Anderson's getting there, right? Like, this dude was once third in MVP voting, but he touched the ball 453 times. Yeah, no, year. it's like, it's kind of like a, a courtesy vote. Like, hey, man, are you okay? You, you gave it your best. Yeah. Yeah. They named an ice bath after this guy. What no, I'm kidding. Mean? He just seems like he got hurt a bunch. <laughs> yeah, it just seems like a guy. I thought that I was, was going to say. I was like, is that a hit? I have no idea. It's a good lie, though. It was a good, good lie. Ice, ice bath Johnson, man. How could I forget yeah. him, bro? Legend. Yeah. NBA oh. Street Volume 2 legend. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, like Jamal Anderson. That's all I'm thinking about right now, bro. No, I don't, you're I in the Jamal right era. It. Well, obviously, you're in the right era. I gave you the era, but those are the right, like, vibes. Curtis Martin. <laughs> oh, these no, are good guesses, good dude. Guess. Jamal Anderson, four yards per carry. He did not have a long enough career, though. Curtis Martin, four yards per carry. That's an that's a great guess, actually. That's a great guess. Yeah. Oh, man. Man, this is I, Fred Jackson. I don't know, bro. Hey, <laughs> hey, hey fast Freddie Jackson was a Hold on. <laughs> From Co College as well. Lest we not forget. Uh, oh I man, love Fast Freddy. Man, I don't want to throw in the towel here, but we started off so hot, dude. We All were right. blistering we at the game. Let me see if I can give you anything else for this guy because this is a tough question. You guys started off at an incredible pace, though. This guy won a Heisman. How about that? Huh. Just sighs after that. Yeah, that just doesn't help me. Yeah. <laughs> Logan, oh. I know you know this guy won a Heisman. Oh, okay. Great question. Great question. And Thank great you, hint. Danny. Thank yeah, you. Yeah. Okay. That's actually an excellent hint. That's my teammate right there. He's because also me you up. for you forget that this guy won a Heisman. I I just did. apparently I do forget that this guy won a Heisman. <laughs> yeah. But Logan, oh. I know that you know he won it because when we did the every player to win a Heisman and MVP question, you guessed this guy. He never won an MVP, but was Tough. maybe deserving that top that that was probably top three MVP voting, well deserved. Top three MVP Eddie, voting is it Eddie voting. George? It's Eddie George, let's go! Oh my god! Yeah. Okay, I I was like this whole time I was Eddie like George. I. F- I didn't know I didn't know Eddie George got to 10k man. I didn't think he played long enough. Yeah. He's not over it by much. Wow. But dude, it's like every year he's touching the ball 350 times and he's getting like 1300 yards. Yeah. Honestly, the MVP one is what what got me there. Good good question, man. Great that was, question. That was great. Yeah. All right, Carson, screw you cuz you already named he like won a four of the guys on the list, bro. He did. He wow. had 23 touchdowns at Ohio State and uh, like 1800 plus yards. Guys Every uh, I need you guys to, to name every quarterback in NFL history with a winning percentage of 70% or higher. Carson's already done about half the list, but uh, you can pick okay. right up, bro. Okay. Yeah, Carson. So let go. We've got LaMonica, who's my favorite to mention because he's Just, the weirdest. We've got go. Stavik. Yeah. We've got... Does Otto Graham count? He does count. Wow. Oh, we're going deep in it. This is when they are like slinging Sammy Baugh. Are we talking about? <laughs> uh, <laughs> Sierra. Otto, though, dude, he was like, he won like what? Damn near 85% of his games. Yeah. Was over 80%. He was so, yeah. He was so good. He won football games at Northwestern. Yeah, true. Yeah, like the 50s. What about hmm. uh, Patty Mac? No, yeah, number two. What about Lamar? The last guy on the list, 70% exactly. Okay, Lord. So, I think, and there's no, uh, is there? A, sorry, is there a number of starts to qualify, or is there a? I didn't put one. I think that Otto and Lamar are probably the ones with the least. Uh, you probably. guys have got two bona fide legends, and then uh, by far the shittiest quarterback on this list. Man, it's not even close. Okay. Like, I'm really get... surprised this guy's here. <laughs> so cool. Not Joe Montana, actually. Wow. Oh, he's got to be right below it then. Did we say Brady and Peyton, or is that a? Is oh, that a no, bad those, are, those are the two bona fide legends. So you okay. guys have an active player, by far the worst quarterback on this list. I have a thought, but I want Carson, you go first, and then I'll uh, I'll, I'll I'll follow up. I mean, I'll take your thought. I, Russ is probably close. He's probably close. Who are you thinking? 
I'm thinking the sexiest man alive. I'm thinking Jimmy Garoppolo. Yeah. It's That's Jimmy right. G. Wow. Nice. Well done. Props. Kyle Shanahan. Yeah, I was going to say he better be cutting half his checks to Kyle Shanahan for getting <laughs> on that list. Good Lord. Seriously. Oh, my God. That's ridiculous. And so they... Now just one to go. No, that... you get, that's it. That's the whole. Oh, list. that's it. Let's go. Well played. Go. Attaboy. Here we go. All right. So, guys, we got another question in the video game lane, similar mm. to the Madden one, but now we're going to oh. do it with the original NBA 2K. Can you name me the top 12 rated players in that game? What what year is this? 2000? 1999. So, yes, for the 99-2000 season. Shaq? Shaq is here. He's only a 93, though. Tied for the fifth highest rated player in this game, which is all right. That's so insane. The Shaq 99. I'm gonna go with uh, also David Robinson, maybe. Or is that the probably tied with Shaq? Okay, tied with Shaq for 90. You said 93. Uh... Okay, so Allen Iverson's the cover there, so I'm gonna guess that off the He's cover. Actually the highest rated player in the game, 97. Ooh. These okay. ratings didn't age very well, in my opinion. Some of them. Yeah. Fair, totally fair. Um, Hakeem? No, not Hakeem. No, they that's, were... that's too late. Oh, wait, yeah. no, no, no. What am I talking about? I'm sorry. He is a 91. Wow. wow. I literally just thought I was like, no, that can't be right. <laughs> You're like, no, no way. <laughs> and is this, wait, is this Raptors Hakeem? Or was he still no, on the- No, this would be- this That'd was his la- this was his second to last Houston <laughs> wow. year, but he was oh my goodness. I mean he was he was sub all star level dude. He averaged ten points per game this year. <laughs> but they had that's him just the legacy legacy ninety one. They were, they were yeah. still figuring um, they were still figuring uh, ratings out then. They're like uh. yeah. yeah yeah. They watched the tape of the ninety four finals and said he still got it. This <laughs> guy's <laughs> nuts. Yeah, he's ridiculous. He's second best player is Otis Thorpe. How's he doing this? <laughs> I mean, yeah, no. Um, what is it too early for T Mac? It is too early for T Mac, but is it too Ooh. early for Vince Carter? It like is that. too early for Vince Carter. What? Okay. Yeah, that's like, that's like his, that's like his third. No, wait. Oh yeah, second. Vince Carter was like ninety seven. Yeah, second year. Is he drafted ninety eight? So, but I mean, he ended up being great this year. But before the year, is it too early for Grant of. Hill? It's not at all. Ninety three. Let's go. Wow. Wow. Um, ninety three. MJ's not in the league, is he? Like MJ's mm, not in this game, right? No. Mm. No. That's about Paul Pierce. <laughs> not Paul Pierce. He okay. was also he's the same draft class as Vince, so he was only going into his second mm. year. Oh, Kevin Garnett. Kevin Garnett, mm. ninety five. Mm. Bang. 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 So Dirk's in that class too, so he's not going to be here, right? Correct. And mm-hmm. this was too early for like Nash to be like, I yeah. feel like up there. Yeah, too early for Nash, but Marbury. Uh, oh. no, but I that's not a bad, yeah, it's not a bad. P- I... Penny, who, who are we getting uh, at here? J no Kid, J Kid, yeah, J Kid, 94. Wow. Higher than Shaq. Yeah. That's ridiculous. All oh, right. Oh, yeah, Higher than that's... Jack, who okay. went on to have his best season ever. He may not have, he may not have been alive for this, but I'm blaming Ronnie 2K anyway for these. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, what about Zoe? Is Alonzo Mourning here? Nice, dude. He sneaks in a, as a 91. That's a great, that's a great. Were answer. there any 99s or was it, was that, no. were they hard yeah. graders? Yeah. Yeah. I mean, they if we're doing here, readings. is Patrick Ewing here? Ewing is actually not, but it's not a oh. bad thought. I mean, Ewing was better at this point than Akeem. What about yeah. Gary Payton? Gary Let's Payton, go. 92. Let's go. Dang. All right. 90. It's a super 99. interesting like cross section in NBA history this year between the dudes who you think of in the early 2000s and the dudes who you think of in like the mid 90s. Yeah. What about what about Malone and Stockton? Are they both here? They are actually not, but they've got to be close. Yeah. Um I think yeah. How many how many are, yeah. how many do we have left? You still have uh, just 3 to go. Okay. Is three. it is it too late for like Barkley and Pippen too? Like I feel like they were both rockets at this point. 
Yeah, and they're it's too it. late for those guys. And Drexler. But that's crazy because Scotty was really good in Portland. I'm surprised Scotty was still that Scotty very wasn't good. there. Let's yeah. see. So I want to shout out some of your guys' other oh, guesses. Uh, oh, sorry. No, go ahead. No, no, no. Um, but it's too it's too early for Chris Weber. Oh, Ooh. is it? It's not. <laughs> it's not. <laughs> wow. Okay. All right. All right. All right. in ninety three. Wow. Okay. Is it? Too I was thinking about Ray that Kingston. Ray Allen was in eighty seven. Oh. That's the oh. thing with C Web, dude. Is like you think of his peak as like oh three, but he's drafted in ninety three, and he was good from the jumps. Like he he'd been yeah. around. He was just on the bullets, and they Damn. sucked. Uh, but so other good guesses you guys have had. Penny's in eighty nine. Ewing's an 87, Stockton 84, Carl Malone a 90. So he's the first guy off. Um, oh, no. No, it can't be. Go with can't that be. thought. It, it, can't, it, it. Can't, it can't be Duncan. That's why I'm like, yeah, it I, can't be. Is it? Is it? Duncan yeah. is the second highest rated player in this game. Wow. <laughs> this is right off of the title run in 99. So I was like, that's. Yeah. What Tim Duncan was different, man. We continue to disrespect I, I think, him. No, I'm, how good I'm, he was at such a young age. Absolutely. I was just forgetting what year he was team. drafted. I was like, what year was he drafted again? Like, yeah. He was drafted in like 97 and was the best player on a title. Yeah, team that's why like I was like 24. Like, so yeah, I was like, there's insane. there's no way. All right. Yeah. Wow. Said, wait, Dun Duncan and Robin, man. <laughs> Duncan and Robinson being on this list together just just must have been a nightmare for oh. early players. <laughs> oh, it was. <laughs> oh, hitting a layup okay. against those guys. Nightmare. Yeah. One to go. A 90s wow. staple. Who had a very long prime. Oh, Dikembe is uh, one of the first guys off. What was he? A 90, dude. Damn. Good a, guess. 90, a 90s wow. staple. Not mm -hmm. named Latrell Spewell. Oh, uh, unfortunately uh, not. <laughs> uh, he had a 99 oh, show Reggie? coach rating. Is it Reggie? Reggie. Reggie. Wow. <laughs> Nicely done. When he when he was still in the two Ks. Yeah. 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 Oh yeah, he took himself out. Why, do, <laughs> why does any athlete do that? What's a I don't free get check? It. Like I don't understand it. And your 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 legacy gets prolonged. Like it's your it's yeah. there's no downside to it. I don't get it. Same same thing with Charles Barkley too, dude. I would yeah. I would crush with Charles in a game, man. That'd be super. Oh, that could be fun to play with. Oh yeah. Dude. You'd be good in my ears for unreal. sure. Yeah. All right, guys, I have a really simple one here for you. I'm going to name some NBA players' nicknames. You're going to tell me who they are. We're going to start it out with the Stifle Tower. Rudy Gobert. Easy money. What about X-Man? Uh, that is Xavier McDaniel. What about, what about Satch? Tom Sanders. Okay. Baby Jordan. Oh, Harold Miner. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Are you going to get the clean Feed the sweep? post. I'm feeding him in the post. Go. Yeah. This is a fast, fast money, fast out. money. Clear I'm getting my yeah. sky hook. Yeah. <laughs> Finally, human victory cigar. Oh, that is, well, I think there's been a couple throughout NBA history, but Chuck Nevitt was the original, right? I'm not referring Darko, to Chuck Nevitt. Darko, Darko also Darko had too. It. Wow. But I think they called Chuck Nevitt <laughs> the human victory cigar. So give me my Which bonus is... point on that. Ooh, easy. Yeah. And the nice. foul. <laughs> 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 let's go okay this is an interesting one for you guys since the nfl merger only five players have led the league in passing yards in back-to-back -back seasons can you name them this is a fun patty right no wow drew Brees. drew Brees did this on two separate occasions he's the only Ooh. one Ooh. uh dan marino dan marino led for three straight years 84 86 brett Favre. Hey, Oh, sorry. Not Favre. Peyton Manning? Peyton. Not Peyton? Okay. Peyton's got to be like the most surprising exclusion from this list, I feel that's like. That's actually, yeah. that's insane. That's, yeah, that's like how Hank Aaron never had a 50 home run season. You're just like, ha, what? Yeah. Like, <laughs> <laughs> um, or like, yeah, like Randy and T.O., neither of them ever led the league in receiving. There's just certain like yeah. weird anomalies. Yeah. It's nuts. Um, back to back. The merger was 70, right? So it's it's a modern-ish passing game, so that, that does help. Mm -hmm. No Otto Graham. But let me tell you, Otto Graham had a passing leader. Oh, dynasty. man, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Not Bart Starr. 
Two more guys here who make a lot of sense in terms of they're not considered all-time greats. They didn't have great teams, but they were ahead of their time in terms of passing volume. Mm. Pick oh, that's, a good, that's a good hint, yeah. Bouts uh, four straight seasons. Oof. So we have one more? Two more. The last more. one is the toughest. Warren Logan Moon really likes him. Warren Moon is the other Warren guy I was Moon, talking yeah. about. Wow. Is Dante Culpepper the last guy? Oh, dude, no. But he did lead in 04. Let's uh, see. Rich Gannon. No. So furthest throwback here, you're looking at a 70s guy for the last one who, Logan, you like. Is it Tarkenton? It's not Tarkenton. That's a good thought. Ooh. Let's see. Fran did lead once, I think. I mean, we got we got Starbuck. We got Kenny Stabler. We're going to have Lenny Dawson. 70s guy. This might be a Logan ISO. It might be. I think it is. Especially because <laughs> Logan likes to bring this dude up. I mean, was he good? Oh, yeah, he was good. Of course. <laughs> is it my boy Kenny Anderson? It's Ken Anderson. Ken <laughs> Anderson. Kenny Anderson's my boy. Nice. Bengals legend. If I don't, yeah. if I don't believe it. Yeah. yeah. MVP uh, Kenny Anderson. That was a sick that's question. That's nuts. Yeah. All right, that's guys. A question. I need you guys to name me every player in the Super Bowl era to win Rookie of the Year and MVP. Obviously not in the same season, but uh, everybody to accomplish that feat. And I'll give you guys a hint. There's only two post-2000. Let's get Cam Newton. Oh, easy money. Yes. Uh, oof. I was going to say Kurt Warner, but I forgot he was not a ro yeah. Rookie of the Year. He's bagging groceries, now. man. You didn't, He's bagging see the, groceries. <laughs> you didn't yeah. see the Disney Plus film Underdog Story? <laughs> oh no I, I, I didn't see it i heard it was very good uh <laughs> I, heard it was I heard it was excellent and i heard all the football scenes were accurate and looked yeah. exactly like Violent. real life like any given <laughs> sunday level yeah okay uh, uh matt ryan was he offensive rookie of the year Ooh, uh he was not that is a good guess so it's mvp and rookie of the year yes sir only two after 2000 uh terrell mm -hmm. davis not TD. That's a good guess. TD did I mean, get MVP. Don't think he got Rookie of the Year. Yeah. Peyton <laughs> threw 28 picks, but I feel like they still might have given it to him. They didn't. Did not give it to Peyton. And there's a there's a position that is definitely heavily favored on this list. Running backs. Let me get uh, Earl Campbell. Earl Campbell, yes. Yeah. Let me get uh, Eric Dickerson. Eric Dickerson, not here. One Rookie of the Year. Never oh. somehow got an MVP, though. Oh, yeah. Wow. Walter okay, Payton? so that's a good guess. Peyton has an MVP, does not have a rookie of the year. So running backs with MVP, we have a lot of them back in the day. Barry? Barry mm -hmm. is one of them, yes. Yeah. Emmett? Is he Emmett is here as well. Emmett. I don't think Marcus Allen was offensive rookie of the year. Hmm? I was thinking Marcus. Oh, yeah, let's play Marcus Allen, please. <laughs> <laughs> Marcus <laughs> Allen is here. Yeah. How many we got left? Just have three to go, two pre-2000, uh, one post-2000. And one of these is very different from the others. Post-2000, oh, Adrian Taylor. Peterson? LT. Adrian Peterson, oh. post-2000. You guys got one to go. Let's Ooh. go. There we go. All right. Okay, last one. I mean, the fact that Logan highlighted running backs, I'm still thinking of those dudes. Thurman won an MVP. Yeah. Mm. He did. Very similar, Thurman. Very, very similar to Thurman. Oh, Marshall Falk. Marshall Falk, you guys cooked. There it is. Oh, oh. light work. That's how we roll. <laughs> okay, this is this is a fun one. I feel like I'm giving you guys some sort of tough ones, but you're batting a thousand so far. Can you name me the three players with the most all defense appearances who are not in the Hall of Fame, and you have to be Hall of Fame eligible to count? That's wild. That's a great question. Where do we begin? Is um, Matumbo in the hall? Is Matumbo in the Hall of Fame? <laughs> Dikembe is. Oh, I don't think he's in the Hall of Fame, dude. I was thinking no, he is. He is my... in the Hall. Of... Okay, yeah, I'm tripping. I'm tripping. I'm tripping. My first guess was going to be right? Willie Brown. <laughs> <laughs> guess was going to be Willie Brown. Wrong sport, buddy. <laughs> so, I, I think the way to think about this is guys who were just clamps like is bruce bowen here yeah. ding 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 eight times all I... defense bruce bowen oh my tony, goodness tony allen 
got to be. Oh, Tony Allen was six times all defense. He is one oh. of the first guys off oh. here. I'm going to I'm going to go I'm going to go perimeter clamps cuz I feel like they don't get enough credit. Yeah. And also I'll... more opportunity. Like Dikembe, believe it or not, is only six time all defense cuz the bigs are just yeah. insane. Like the yeah. Yeah. Robertson. bigs, dude. Oh my yeah. god, Logan, I love where your head's at. Let's see. Alvin Robertson was six time all defense as well. What's the mark to get on your seven? Eight. No, it's three dudes. All of them were eight times. Is is your boy Michael Ray Richardson on here? Not Michael Ray, but shout out. He was twice all defense. Nate McMillan. Ooh. No, dude, these are great guesses. Nate McMillan was twice all defense. One of these is like super hard and I'm going to give you guys ample hints for it. And even then Kofi, you very well may have never heard of this guy. I know Logan has because we've done so many trivia videos. Yeah. But it's, he's a, he's is, a throwback. Is Michael Cooper in the hall of fame? Yeah. No, he's not in the hall of fame and he is eight times all defense. Oh my goodness. Wow. Cool. What, about, what about Bobby Jones? That's Logan, dude, you're firing me up, man. You've learned so much about this beautiful game. <laughs> Bobby Jones, though, actually is a Hall of Famer. Okay, that well deserved. Um, and by the way, through the ABA and NBA years, Bobby Jones 11 times all defense, bro. Oof. In 12 oh seasons. God. Dude, I think it's going to bite the Sixers on the ass that they traded away George McGinnis. <laughs> <laughs> that dude got buckets, man. I don't know how. Logan's don't know how call him for him the up. Philadelphia Inquirer back in <laughs> 1978. <laughs> uh, dude, this could be anybody, though. That's the, that's what's nuts. Okay, not not so anybody, anybody, but it's like oh, it's a lot of errors. Yeah. You know? It's a lot of errors. I'm going to key in on this Two for more you guys. People. Set, no, it's only one more. But oh, one more? One more? Not Mark Eaton. Very good thought, dude. Seventies. This guy was a, a very good passer. He played on some really good teams, but not like great. Never made a, a final. Mo Cheeks. Or no, it's not Mo oh, Cheeks. Oh no, 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 no. Never made a finals. Never made a finals. And Mo Cheeks, I believe, Ooh. is rightfully in the hall. Never made a finals. Seventies. Great team. Tricky. Seventies. 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 Man, um, oh, is it uh, dude, who is Pistol Pete's teammate? What's that guy's name? Are you is thinking that Lou guy? Hudson? Lou Hudson. It's not him, it's is not, it? It's not Lou Hudson. Not, not Sweet Lou. Bucket, though. Damn. <laughs> he's got. He's got. They start naming seventies players that you like. Yeah. Is I it think, a guard or a big? I feel like that's like got to be the. It's a guard. It's a point guard. Is it World Be Free? <laughs> it's Ooh, not World Be uh, Free. I love it. I just love that name. I'm, that's, that's a all. great name. <laughs> World Be Free. I know that I know that Fat Lever is on the tip of your tongue right <laughs> <That's> now. Like... <laughs> Guys, I mean, this is like Christmas to me. And Fat Lever was a clamp. World, not so much, but he was a bucket. Yeah. yeah. I'm just going it's... like NBA My Era starts only like the 2K My Era's. I've been playing that for, but it's only been, it's only started in 83. So now it's like 70s. Go 70s again. erasure, dude. It's a problem. Yeah, and mm. I won't stand for it. <laughs> this dude has an old dude kind of name. Like if if someone was walking around with this first name right now, you would mock them incessantly. No it's offense another, to anybody. Is it is it Norm? Yes, <laughs> it's Norm Nixon. Right? No, 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 no. It's not Norm Nixon, but it is a Norm. It's a different Norm. Uh, <laughs> a different <laughs> Norm. I didn't know there was more than one Norm that is playing the way, in the NBA. By the way, I was watching Norm Nixon play last night, and he's electric. Yeah. <laughs> he was he's, so bad. I mean, that's the thing. There's a reason why yeah. he was a big deal in the Showtime show. Like, he was a huge Dude. part of those Lakers. Dude, his finals numbers, or his playoff numbers in 80 and 82, I mean, he was a star. He was a star. Yeah. Yeah. Bonafide star. Point blank. I'm, so, I, I'm sorry, bro. You mean to tell me this guy's name is, is It's Norm. another Norm. Yes. Norm. And it's not the guy from Cheers, Logan. <laughs> you silly guy. My, fa my favorite TV show every night. Yeah. Yes. Underrated show, actually. Yeah. Truly. Yeah. 70s. I mean, Bulls. Can I get you there? And it's not Norm Nixon. No. I'm just going to say, like, Norm Johnson. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Unfortunately, that strategy will not get you there because this dude has a very distinct last name. Okay, well. I don't think I I don't think I know Logan. It, I, I need to get you there. I Norm 
Norm Van Leer, bro? Yeah, it's Norm Van Leer. <laughs> <laughs> That's... Dude, if you wanted your kid to be a Hall of Famer in like the 50s or 60s, Norm Sneed, you named him Norm. Norm Van Brocklin, oh, it's it's 100%. You, you looked your son yeah. in the eye and you said, I'm sorry, but I'm going to name you Norman and it's going to fuel you to be great because you're going to hate me every day of your life and you're going to want to prove yeah. me wrong. How many yeah. all defenses was was he? Eight. 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 Yeah. Oh, my That's goodness. That's ridiculous. Yeah. All right, guys. Really straightforward here. I need you to tell me the three lowest scoring rookie of the year winners in NBA history. Wes Unseld. Not Wes Unseld. What's Unseld averaged? What, like 9.8 points per game? Oh, no. No, no. That was his MVP season, I believe. Or final season. That was his MVP season, yeah. It pains me to say this as a Syracuse University graduate, but was Michael Carter-Williams on that list? Oh, I love that guess. I mean... That team was so bad, though. I think MC Dub was actually kind of getting buckets. He might order, yeah, he might average an accidental 17 <laughs> on like 39% shooting. E- like oh, yeah. That's generous. From deep. <laughs> yeah. 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 <laughs> okay. What a year. Oh, of course, Lois. Uh, Malcolm Brogdon. Number one, 10.2. Yeah. Wow. Huh. Honestly, just based off style of play, Jason Kidd? Yes. Wow. Great Number thought. two, 11.7. And uh, credit to your unsold guest, 13.8. That's a really good one. I knew that. I knew that exact number, and I threw and out the wrong I, one. I mean, this one, famous for just being a really bad draft class, I think. So that makes me think 2000, because that was a really bad draft. Yeah. Are we thinking, I mean, Powell, well, Powell probably averaged more. And Yeah. Was it Mike Miller? Whoa, Mike <laughs> Miller, dude, 11.9. That's dude, it. Danny master hey, class he's in his you know bag. you know w's. i felt like you know i felt like you were carrying me the last couple of rounds i had to put my word you know i put my weight in you know i mean i gotta earn was... my paycheck around here you're earning it buddy <laughs> oh you're earning it that was that was clean work okay thank you thank you since 1970 can you guys name me the 10 players with the highest single season totals for combined points rebounds and assists per game since 19 what 70 all right which is just to take out wilt because he would have like every season okay so yeah we go lebron right you're not gonna believe this lebron's not here westbrook and Jokic both have to be here right wait you said points rebounds and assists points rebounds and assists but lebron is not here russ though is second and Jokic is ninth Wow, Jokic is. Oh, is this is this crazy. average? This is, a crazy or, list. is this average or total? This is your average combined points, rebounds, and assists per game. Did Harden get here? Got it. Yeah. Okay. Harden is here. He uh, is number six for his 2019 season. Man, this is a wild guess. Ben Simmons. MF, what? I mean, I, he's not there points wise, but I mean, <laughs> he checks the box everywhere. Else. No, he's like, certainly not. You got to think. LeBron's not here, right? Yeah, you LeBron's really, yeah. That's you nuts. really got to get buckets. Yeah, MJ. MJ's the first dude off. Ooh, wow! For his wow, thirty-two dude. eight and eight season, it's another weird one. What about Moses? I mean, I don't think he's going to get here just with points and boards, but no, unfortunately, Moses never averaged more than two assists per game in his career, so he is not here. Now we got it. so we're talking about now we're talking about. Borderline generational stat padding. Okay. Oh, Luca. Uh, Luca. Luca is here, yeah. number eight from this season. Yeah. So people let's forget, see. man. Luca's. <laughs> I know he Moses... didn't make the playoffs, but yeah. Yeah, Luca's getting a little bit underrated right now. So Moses is uh, twenty. Okay. And how is LeBron? Now LeBron is not even in the top. 30 that baffles me wait can you ask can you ask, ask the question again if if i may okay i'm trying to i'm trying to wrap my head around this again. so combined points rebounds and assists per game and I'm just gonna... one like they're just one season one season the bottom line number got it okay i'm gonna so say like, magic that one year he scored 23 it's a good thought magic is not here though so like kofi just to give you a point of reference Jokic is ninth on this list with 48.7 combined. Yeah. Between those three stats. Okay, got it. Okay. That okay. 
Okay. LeBron's like best 20. year, I think, is like 44. It's great. I mean, you're borderline 30, 10, and 10. That's ridiculous. That's crazy. Yeah. Hmm. I'll give you guys a hint. The majority of the rest of the list is actually not made up of the model that Logan was just talking about. It's heavier on two categories, and it's from a particular uh, era. Shaq? Not Shaq, but those oh. are the two categories, scoring and rebounding. Scoring and rebounding, yeah. okay. But there was a particular era where rebounding in the NBA was a bit inflated Yeah, since 1970. Is Bill Walton here? I don't know if Bill Walton is scoring enough. Billy was is, not getting buckets like that. Is Kareem here? Kareem has four spots in the top ten. Oh, my <laughs> goodness. Okay. That's what we're just missing. One guy, two guys. You're missing two guys. Okay, so it's rebounding. So it's not it's not uh it's not Archibald. Um love that thought though. And Tiny Nate yeah. is in the uh he's in the top twenty. Okay. Actually, he is in the top fifteen. Ooh. Ooh. Uh how good was how good of a rebounder was Dominique Wilkins? Oh, ooh. ooh. I don't know if Monique's going to be here. I mean, he got yeah. buckets, but yeah, are, are both both the other guys on this list fit that bill, Carson? One of them is a modern player. I'll just leave it at that. And no, he does not exactly fit that bill. Modern player. It's not, I, I mean, I don't think it'd be Kobe. I don't think Kobe, a modern guy. Did Anthony Davis have those? He had like some big Pelicans years, but I don't know if that. Oh, it's crazy that LeBron isn't here and there's somebody else in the modern era that is that blows my mind I mean Andre Drummond was just stat padding in Detroit for a <laughs> yeah, I knew I knew he was going to get in there I knew you were going to put a Drummond was, reference in eventually I was almost, I was almost gonna, gonna I was happen. like hey man we got listen <laughs> Some dark Detroit times for sure. Offensive rebounding for sure. He's up there. Oh, if this yeah. was an offensive rebounding rate question, oh, yeah. it's Drummond all day. Yeah. He's, he's top five for sure. Yeah. Tim it's Duncan. Not, not Duncan. This guy makes a lot of sense for this category. Big good hint. scoring and rebounding numbers and pretty good assist numbers. I don't think Dwight Howard had the scoring numbers. To... Scoring and assists. No. All right, so it's a modern player. Very modern. Very modern. The most modern. No, just... Yeah, well, <laughs> <laughs> as modern as you can be. As modern as yeah. we can be. Okay, modern as we can be. I, KD? Mm -mm. Modern score. Oh, Giannis. Giannis. Bro. There you go. Yeah, okay. <laughs> <laughs> Giannis is here, and he has three seasons in the top 25. Oh, wow. Yep. That'll do it. for. And we're missing one? Yeah, you're missing one, and it is the toughest one, but it's gettable. This guy was an MVP, had a monster scoring season back in the Kareem era, the early. Willis Kareem Reed? Mm-mm. That's... Oh, Dave, Dave Cowens. I swear that I saw Kofi's mouth start to make yeah, uh, a start to his name. I was going to say Bernard King. Oh, but no. there's a letter there that I that led me to believe you were going to say it. Uh, so I'm going to B. Yeah. <laughs> um, OK, OK. B is in boy. Uh... B is in boy. Yeah. <laughs> Of course, the legendary Bill Bradley, bro. How could I forget? <laughs> yeah. Bill Bradley. Now, if we were using college stats, Bill Bradley would would be up here. What, Bob One McAdoo? Like, oh, what? yes, Bob it McAdoo. Is? Oh. It All is. Right. All Bob right. McAdoo is actually fifth on this list because he averaged 35 and almost 14. My God. <laughs> yeah. Bob. That's like early 70s. The pace was still like historically high, so the bigs, yeah. their rebound yeah. numbers were just really, really high. Yeah, that's what ridiculous. A, what a time! That's crazy. Yeah, 
All right, guys, another simple one here for you. Two defensive player of the years in NFL history have also won Super Bowl MVP. Can you name both of those players? Lawrence Taylor didn't win Super Bowl MVP. Taylor did not win Super Bowl MVP. (laughs) (laughs) This guy uh, beat the ever-loving bleep bleep out of the Giants, though. Ray Lewis? Ray yeah. Lewis, that is correct. <laughs> yeah, Kerry yeah. Collins had an absolute nightmare game. Oh, yeah, not what you want. Uh, no. <laughs> do you, yeah. No. Uh, okay. People forget, though, man. He went from five TDs in the NFC title game to five picks in the Super Bowl, bro. Quite he the... was that Giants <laughs> offense with offensive coordinator Sean Payton was lights out. Until the greatest defense of all time. Uh, yeah. <laughs> you woke up and you're like, all right, well, yeah. Kerry Collins is still our quarterback. So. <laughs> Ike Sometimes. Hilliard's not beating anyone off the off the route. Uh, Deep Hoy and Super Bowl MVP. So Super yeah. Bowl MVP is the easier way to go here because there's fewer dudes. There's so but few. There's some who are like definitely not here. Harvey Martin, Randy White for the Cowboys, Chuck Howley, Jake Scott. Was Jake Scott defensive player of the year? That would be ridiculous. That would be crazy. The guy from the 72 Dolphins? Yeah. Uh, Logan's got this look in his so. eye that makes me want to guess him. Is that correct? Jake Scott is not correct. Mm. So And it's not how I thought it was Howley, but it's it not. Is Howley. Howley. It is oh, Chuck Howley. It is Chuck Howley. It is Chuck Howley. Great call. Danny, you're cooking. Hey, you said Chuck Howley. And I said, wow. you know what? But I, I did not think that he won Depoy. So let's I go. Mean, that's the thing. The doomsday defense, man, they were, they were a nightmare. That was, uh, you know, and also shout out to him for winning MVP in a loss, which I will say should be more of a thing. LeBron should have 10 finals MVPs. Even though <laughs> I he agree. Lost I agree. Awesome. I also say, yeah. Well, not 10. He's not going 10 for 10. I agree I with the MVP in a loss sentiment though. Yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah. It is interesting. I mean, it was possible like when the awards were new, Jerry West, 69, Chuck yep. Howley, he could have oh, won so many. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I'm trying to it think is. of the most recent modern example of like, that guy should have won MVP, even though they lost. Like Mahomes in the 20 Super Bowl when he was running for his mm, life. Uh, yeah, but I don't know. I mean, he he was eaten pretty alive, though. He was, was yeah, say, no, he really didn't. Hurts hurt. last year. I mean, Hurts had an awesome yeah, game. Yeah, Jalen Hurts was unbelievable. Yeah. He, he yeah. basically played a perfect game. He did, but Pat was also unbelievable. Yeah, that's the thing, yeah. 15 is going to 15. Yeah, the default is definitely LeBron 2015, but yeah, yeah, I don't know. I, I that to me that was Steph's. That was always Steph's, yeah. and they they took it from him. They took <laughs> they, it from my boy. You know what? He he. I mean, and, and I love seeing Boston lose, so we don't get 22 uh, if Steph isn't motivated to win the Finals <laughs> MVP that year. So I thank the NBA I for making that Steph starving to go get one against Boston. I love that take. Okay, guys. Can you name me every NBA player to appear in 50 or more games in a season in their 40s? Ooh. Kevin uh, Willis. Old. Kevin Willis, yeah. Nope. Kevin Willis. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Vince Carter. Four times. That's crazy. <laughs> That's insane. Uh, Chief so, Robert Parrish. Parrish three times. Jordan. No, MJ was, uh, I think, 39 for his last Washington year. Uh, he who shall not be named. Yeah. He who shall not be named only played 42 games in his mm. Lakers season, so he's actually not here. Okay, what about Dirk? Dirk is here. Kareem. Yeah. Kareem twice. Dikembe. Dikembe. Boom, you're cooking. Oh. <sighs> David Robinson? Not David Robinson. Tim oh, Duncan. Man. Oh, not Tim Duncan. Akeem. Not Akeem. But these are all good guesses. Akeem was 39. Robinson, 37. Duncan, I think, was also 39. Yep. I mean the way he put the flourish on the two Spurs. Bits, I know. It's gotta yeah, be. Right? It's gotta be. It's gotta be Malik Rose, right? <laughs> <laughs> it's not. It's not the great Malik Rose, but I did uh, do that for a reason. How long did Ginobili like Ginobili hmm? play? That's correct. Ginobili. Ginobili? Okay. I was trying to see. I was trying to remember if Ginobili played at forty or not. I was like, oh, I'm. 
Yeah. Hornets yeah, legend pretty... Tony Parker. <laughs> no, not Hornets legend Tony Parker. That was by the way. Logan, I'm looking up what Manu Ginobili's first name is just based on the first question. I just need to know if his name is also <laughs> William. <laughs> uh, um, it is Emmanuel. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> William Emmanuel Ginobili. It's all really. <laughs> so <laughs> you guys have one more very intuitive one and then probably the two toughest. Is KG here? No, not KG. But that's a good thought oh. too. KG was just so young when he started out of high school, yeah. but I still think he was 38, 39 in his last year too. Uh, He's on his way pivoting to acting. Yeah, yeah. a brilliant KG. career. Yeah. Okay, I'm trying to think of like players that did they play till 40, and then when they got there, because I'm like, I don't think Paul Pierce got to 40. Pierce um, did play for a minute. I don't think he got to 40 either. Yeah, I think he got to 40. Um, Reggie Miller was old as hell. Ooh, uh, I love that. No, 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 throw that out there. Throw that out there. Reggie Miller. Such a good guess. Reggie's not here. Oof. He was 39 in his last year as well. <sighs> hmm. Think of old, like some old. Old Just people. laughing, thinking about forty-year-olds with no knees. I was gonna be like, I was gonna be like, I was, gonna be like, I was like, I was like, Pablo Prigioni was like sixty-eight when he was playing. Like was, uh... he, he, I think he was like a thirty-six-year-old rookie. He was Dude, like make wish actually, level. That's so funny because he was, he was definitely, yeah, he was thirty-eight in his last season, which was his fourth season. <laughs> Unreal. Mm. All right, so Where's the Mister in... Three Thousand movie about him? Come on, that's nuts. <laughs> Needs we need to a Pablo Prigioni film. Um, I don't think Shaq played until he was forty. Yeah, Shaq was pretty washed by Boston. I think he was like thirty-eight then. Um, it's exactly right for what it's worth. He was thirty-eight. Damn, dude. Okay, so you guys guessed one dude who is strongly associated with another dude here, and they both just, it's like, oh, of course. Longevity kings, did, if you will. Did Patrick Ewing get here? Mm -mm, not Ewing, but that's a good thought. Man, did Powell do it? No. Ooh, yeah. Uh... Did Derek Fisher do it? <laughs> <laughs> Not Derek Fisher. He's so old. Oh, no. He was. Uh, I mean, he was 39. Yeah. What if I told you this guy is the all-time leader in a couple major categories? David I really thought Robinson do it. That was going to do it. <laughs> Not David Robinson. It's not LeBron, is it? How old is LeBron? He's not 40 yet, right? No, he's not. Uh, in a couple major categories. Um... What are these categories? Yeah, is it, is it like, is it like, uh, games played Gary, minutes. Yeah. <laughs> Gary Payton steals. Like, it's, uh -uh. like that's why I'm like, oh. I'm like, I'm like, who? What is categories? Ray Allen here? Not Ray Allen, but Kofi was on to something there that we shouldn't just quickly dismiss because. Okay. Oh, Stockton. Yeah, it's Stockton. Oh. Yeah, old. Yeah, old man. Old. Okay, the last two are by far. The toughest. So oh, that's what I love uh, to hear. <laughs> <laughs> so one of these dudes came into the league in the 1999 2000 season. He played an important role on a title team and is uh, never an all star, but a very good player. A dynamic sixth man. One of the Jamal great... Crawford. Ooh, that's such a good guess. Oh, I'm wrong. Is it? Oh. <sighs> Wait, Sean, Sean Livingston. What, 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 what? You said contributed to a title yeah. team. That's what I'm thinking of. Oh, is it Lou Williams? Mm -mm. No, he's not that old. Oh, oh no. Ah. Yeah. I mean, those are good guesses. Both Jay Crossover and Lou Will played forever, and they came into the league. Well, Lou Will came in a little oh, bit Oh, Jason later, Terry. Is it Jet? Jason Terry, yeah. Mm. Oh. Okay. And then the last Grateful. guy... I mean, longevity is sort of what he's known for throughout NBA history. Played from 1990 to 2007 on some very good teams in the early 90s. And then after that, 
kind of just a lot of mad teams created. Are you, are you sure you aren't describing Kevin Willis? Like, no, I am sure. Yeah. Okay, yeah. <laughs> but you guys already got him. This guy, uh, you could almost say he's family. I wonder if that'll do it for anybody. Vin Diesel. <laughs> Logan, you've done it again. <laughs> Unbelievable. Unbelievable. For his contributions, Bang. In, for his contributions <laughs> in F9, Vin Diesel was honorarily admitted into the NBA for a season. Oh, what a Is guy. it Charles Oakley? Mm-mm. Great teams in the 90s. 2007. Old dudes in 2007. Uh, really old. Power forward. Yeah. Oh, it's – I cannot believe I didn't guess him already. It's Cliff Robinson, right? It's Uncle Cliff. Ooh. Wow. That's a oh. tough one. Cliff's yeah. a tough one. That is. Cliff wow. should have been, like, one of the first guys off. I mean, he's literally known for just playing, like, forever. Mm-hmm. Yeah. But he's not Hanging quite – he's not quite in the Kevin Willis tier where you're immediately, like, you think of him, you know? So yeah, true. Very I do good. see how he, how he slips through the cracks a little. All right, yeah. gentlemen. Good question, Carson. Guys, Thanks, buddy. F- five players in NBA history have had 50 point games with three different franchises. Can you name them all? 50 point games with three franchises. So Wilt did this. Wilt did do it. Well, I Wilt. believe Kofi may have given us one. I believe Jamal Crawford might be Ooh, on that list. Ooh, that's by far the toughest. Ooh, Ooh. Jay Crossover did do it. Thank Danny. you, Kofi. Wow. Thank Danny. you, Kofi. Wow. You're okay. Cooking. <laughs> Danny is balling out of control. And, uh, I'm here. I'm here. I mean, I'm here. I'm him. I'm I him. Mean, <laughs> let's uh let's keep it simple. LeBron. Yes, sir. LeBron is correct. Oh, obviously Mo Williams. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> okay, so sorry. How many dudes are on this list? You guys just have two to go. Okay. Three. Three different franchises. Different Truckster? Franchises. Did Charles Bar? No, he was only on oh. two. I, I like that guess. Well, Chuck no, he was on. Here. He was on three. He was he on the Rockets. Quite gotten fifty for the Rockets. Yeah. yeah. One of these guys very accomplished. Let me get a. Uh... Oh wait, never mind. Actually, that was not going to be a good guess. I was going to say Vince, but Vince never scored fifty in the regular season or something, right? He scored fifty in the playoffs. But I think you're right. Wow. Uh, one of these guys very accomplished. Uh, or tons of accolades. Played very well known for playing with a bunch of different franchises until he retired. <laughs> and then the other guy, uh, a scoring champ. A scoring champ. Allen Did Iverson? We... Not AI. Do we get a little Adrian Dantley action here? Not oh. Dantley. You're you're close, though. Alex English was loyal. He was more loyal than that. Uh, I was. was thinking about Bernard King. BK is here. Yeah. Great ball. That's... Yeah, Knicks, Warriors and Knicks. I and the say. last guy, like I said, very accomplished and one of one of my personal favorites. Carson, you know him better than I. I do. That doesn't really do much for Danny. <laughs> 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 one of your personal favorites. I mean, Logan's favorite player of all time is probably No Chill Gill, but oh, for sure, No mm-hmm. Chill Gill would uh, not have had anything past the Wizards years. No. Are you guys sure he didn't favorites. score 50 with the Grizzlies? Grizzlies, like, come yeah. On, yeah oh, Grizzlies <laughs> Gill. Oh, man. There, there's a for... jersey on eBay for 30 bucks. That's a <laughs> Grizzlies Gill that I'm going to find. I'm trying to think. I just thought about Glenn Rice for a second. I'm just thinking about Buckets who played prominent roles on multiple teams. First of all, no, Shaq would not have gotten 50 in Miami. One of Logan's personal favorites. Yeah, this guy's how well I know my buddy Logan. This guy's a a little further back. Um, majority eighties. Okay, because my my the the name I was thinking of, which is wrong, is Ray Allen. I was thinking Ray. Hmm, That's Uh, a good thought. Really go to the eighties. Great guess, yeah. So I wouldn't say this guy's one of Logan's favorites, but I'm. Thinking about Neek because he was still getting buckets for the brief time he was with the Clippers and even like the the Celtics he put up like eighteen a game but I don't think he would have gotten fifty because his stints outside of Atlanta were so brief. Well, I but, want you to think about it. this guy basically has every piece of hardware like the most important uh, in basketball, most important accolades. 
So an MVP and a finals MVP. I mean, those are the most important ones. Oh, Moses. It's Moses, man. Nice. Ooh. Of nice. course. Of course. Wait, and then you know what? Wait, uh, not only just a great guest, but friend affirming. You know Seriously, <laughs> dude. I mean, my legacy, <laughs> my, my legacy was on the line with that yeah. one. Okay. I'm going to call an audible on this question because I had one that, although I think it's interesting, is really, really hard. And I've been I've been throwing a lot of a lot of curveballs at you guys. What so, what it, what what was it? Just for okay, just you for, want it? Yeah, it I don't a, think. A, yeah. Okay. Who has the most career receiving yards without a one thousand yard season? Oh, in NFL history, James Lofton. Yeah, you're yeah you're right. No, this is, uh... yeah. <laughs> dude, because it's not James Lofton. You got to go down That's crazy. a bit. Crazy. Logan might be able to get it because he likes this guy, Art Monk. Are we just going to do this question? I don't think. I, mean, I, think, I... <laughs> I think it's going to be a war of attrition. Oh, is it? Um, it's like Lynn Swan or uh, John Stallworth, uh -huh. one of those two guys. Those no, are good I guesses. I am, yeah, I am. Because <laughs> I, feel, I feel like it's got to be, right? Yeah. It's got to be an old guy, right? Or is it a modern? Because it's. Well, he played from, I believe, 1990 to 2007. It's a crazy Jesus. long career. It's just, it's, just, it's, just one, it's just one person. One dude. Okay. One man. Are we doing this? Are we going for it? Is it Joey Galloway? It's not Joey Galloway. Okay. You got to go um, a tear down from that. A tear I don't down from Galloway? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> he never had a thousand yard season, Logan. This dude is like the number 70 something receiver in NFL history. I was just like, I wonder what the answer to this is. And then I found it. <laughs> How did he stick around so long is, is what I'm wondering. Is it a tight end or a wide out? It's a wide out. You have one more guess, and then we're going to move on to another question. This won't count against your guys' perfect record so far because the All question right. was deemed too difficult by the I committee. Need which me. Yeah. <laughs> Ricky Prohl? Yeah, I was about to say, <laughs> I was about to be like Musa Muhammad. Is it Ricky Prohl? I mean, just a masterstroke. It's Ricky Prohl. Wow! <laughs> oh. Oh, my God. Goodness. Logan, this dude. is Nerd Sesh. Is <laughs> da -da -da, da -da -da. Wow. Oh, my Lord. Dude, Ricky Our... Roll's one of my personal favorites, bro. He had two like go-ahead TDs against Tom Brady in the Super Bowl, man. I was yeah. like, this is such a Panthers ass wide receiver question. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so I was like, I was about to be like Moose and Muhammad. I was like, that was my oh, like yeah. I was like, that was my only. I was like, that's not correct. Like, there's no way. That's good. Oh stuff. my gosh. All right. It's a snipe you, and a half. Do you guys want a bonus question on top of that? Or I got one ready. Sure. I'm, I'm kind of yeah. fired up after that. I'm yeah. Yeah, keep rolling. Keep rolling. All right. It's another receiver question. Can you guys name me the top 10 Bengals receivers since 2000? All right. Peter Warwick. Uh -huh. AJ Green. Yes. Numbers. Sure. Chad. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Uh -huh. Jermaine Gresham. Yep. Hushmanzada, Gresham. Yep, you guys are cooking. We said Hushmanzada and Chase. Mm -hmm. Tyler Boyd. Yep, number four. T. Higgins. Number five. Mohamed Sanu. Maybe. Oh, Sanu is twelve. This is Jerome. a quarterbacking list. Sanu's on there. Jerome yeah. Simpson. <laughs> Jerome Simpson is Jerome actually Simpson. not here, despite having the sickest flip I've ever, oh, yeah, ever. seen. Oh, disgusting. Receiving. So I'll give you a hint. Last two guys left, not wide receivers. Yeah, Eifert, like uh, is Eifert's like, bum ass here. Eifert, yeah. Number oh. 10, chill. <laughs> chill. He was actually good when he could okay. play. Yeah, for like one season. Um, what about um, Mixon? No. Bernard. Oh. Giovanni Bernard. You guys just. Yeah. Wow. You guys, <laughs> yeah. you guys worked that. That was, the fellas are that, on fire. Wow. That is that is my team. That would be embarrassing if I. Yeah, that was, <laughs> quite, that was light work. And for what it's worth, I mean, Sanu was twelfth, Mixon was thirteen. So even yeah, the misses were right there. Hell yeah! All right, guys, my go. final question for y'all. Uh, this is one of my favorite questions uh, I've come up with. Nine quarterbacks have at least thirty wins with two different franchises. Can you at least name five of them? I want to name them all, Logan. Uh, go that's for a, it. That's a fun one. Oh, okay. 30, 30, so, I mean, 30, 30, even like, 30. 
even Montana doesn't get to 30 with the Chiefs, right? Because it's only two years. So Montana's very close, but he is not here. Yeah. So, oh man, even Favre doesn't get to 30 with the Vikings. That's only two years. Montana 17 about, uh, and Favre 17. What about friend of the podcast, Daryl LaMonica? Sterile on there. <laughs> I, I love, love I love, I love that. Baby. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Friend of the show. Is Daryl still alive? If so, we got to get him on. <laughs> Daryl, 62 wins with the Raiders, undefeated 4 0 with the Bills. Oh, <laughs> yeah. He was never going to lose him. I got just I'll one. That. <laughs> okay. uh, Jim Plunkett was really bad with the Patriots, but he might have snuck in 30 and 30. I like that. That made logic me think. Here. It's a great way of thinking. Bledsoe, yeah. Bledsoe, right? Does he have enough? Bledsoe is so close, dude. Plunkett's a good guess, too. He had 23 with the Pats, 38 yeah. with the Raiders. Bledsoe, Close. I think, had 23 in Buffalo. Man. All right. We have good thoughts. Yes. Well, first of all. The process get, is sound. Let's get Peyton Manning and Tom Brady. All right. Yes. Peyton Manning. I don't know if Brady cracks Brady's the list, man. actually. Brady's, what were they, 11 and then 8 last year? Oh no, Brady does count. What am I? Yeah. Of course, it's a it's a QB list. Of course, Brady's here. My fault. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. man is everywhere. Is Drew Brees on there? Or did he not get enough reps? Yeah, Thirty call. exactly with the Chargers. Wow. wow. Good call. And then like 20, 40 with the Saints. Hundred forty. <laughs> Hundred and forty-two exactly. Yeah. Oh, oh snap. Danny, hey, buddy, the exact quarterback record, that's my trick, okay? I was going to say, hold on, I got to stop. No, 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 Moss, no Moss. You're a great teammate, pal, but come on. <laughs> yeah, no, no, no. Okay. We have three? You right guys now? have three. Mm -hmm. I'm, just asking for, I'm just asking for two more, but if you guys are feeling I mean, froggy and want to get the dude, whole can I get? can I get a hell yeah for Norm Sneed? Give me a hell yeah. Yeah, I mean, shout out Norm Sneed. Why not? I why not? Uh, not on this list. <laughs> what about what about Norm Van Brocklin with the Eagles and Rams? Oh, I love that thinking. Where is Norm Van Brocklin? I mean, uh, I'm making this unnecessarily hard going that far back, but 42 with the Rams, 19 with the Eagles. It's a good yeah. guess. Yeah. Okay. Uh, how about Warren Moon? Moon played everywhere. Warren Moon. He might not have stayed long enough. Yeah. 70 with Seattle, the Oilers, Kansas 21 City. with Minnesota. Oh, mm. uh, how about Randall Cunningham? That's exactly who I was going to say. That He's got to be. There you go. Cunningham, just 16 wins in Minnesota. These are good I guesses. Swear. Wow. 30 Dude, wins is tough, man. It's crazy because the 98 season is so iconic for him in Minnesota, but that's like it pretty much. But that's a really this good This is going to be tricky. Can we go on a Jeff run? Can we go Jeff George, Jeff Garcia? Okay, you, uh, guys, uh, did they win 30 <laughs> games, period? Like, <laughs> Garcia, Jeff, they played a long time. Garcia, 35 with the Niners, 14 with the Bucks. Oh, oh, okay. And how about Je oh, Jeff George? Was Jeff a bum. George, <laughs> he was a bomb. What about Roman Gabriel? Ooh. Roman Gabriel, that's a really good guess. 74 wins with the Rams, just 12 with the Eagles. Ugh. Mm. Uh, there, there's a couple of mod there's four yeah. very modern guys that i think you, i feel uh, like you there's get. gotta be like yeah i love that we're going back to the 50s 60s and 70s yeah <laughs> we're letting them fly i mean i was thinking about john brody over here there are wow. two really good throwbacks <laughs> but there's four really modern guys okay four 30 wins not donovan McNabb. Not McNabb. Wow, I completely forgot he was was with Washington uh, in yeah, Minnesota. Yeah. I mean, there's Not no far. way for uh, obviously Fitzy doesn't get here. God bless him though. But like, yes. um, oh. I mean, Chad Pennington's not here, is he? That's who I was thinking of. That's a guy. Yeah, I literally just wrote Chad Pennington. <laughs> I'd say these guys are all um, a little bit better uh, than that. Uh, two of these guys went to uh, one, an AFC and an NFC title game. So two guys who made championship game okay. appearances. No, oh, he can't be. I was thinking about Mark Brunel, but he he can't be here. Oh. I don't think no, I just don't think Jacksonville, he had a not enough PT, enough. had 15 yeah. wins in Washington. Yeah. Okay. There is an active QB here, too. No mm. way. Who's an old guy? Not Jimmy G yet. 
Mm-hmm. I don't think of him as old, but yeah, he's been in the league a minute. Uh, debuted in 2012. Oh, Kirk, 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 Kirk. It's not Kirk. He missed it by like three games. That's such what? a great guess. Wow, that's a great I thought guess. that was a lock. Yeah. I, I thought was that was a lock. Sure. Okay. Not Captain Kirk. Dude. Not Matt Schaub? I believe might have. Not Matt Schaub. I like that. <laughs> Virginia legend oh, Matt Schaub. Michael Vick? Where is Vick? It's a good thought. I feel like he has like 17 with Philly. 20 with Philly. He's really uh, close. Uh, okay. Let's get this active guy, man. Yeah. Who... This is, this is, this is. I think was in the active. same draft class with Kirk. If I'm that's not what mistaken. I was about to say. I was yeah. trying to rapidly get it off before you said 2012, so I could be like, I did it before the hint. But then, I, but then and I it's positive. No, I so believe was in that class. I believe was not the third Russ. highest QB taken in that class. So Luck, Robert Griffin, and then this guy. Yeah. I think he gets overshadowed because there's so many good QBs in the back end too. You have Foles, you have Kirk Cousins loaded. late. Yeah, it's a lo- it's a yeah, it was a great class. class. And it's not Russ, so he was taken before Russ. I'll even give you guys this too. He played a he played a different position too in college. He played QB, but he also played another position in college. Oh my goodness! Well, I don't even know who that applies to. Antoine Randall L. But no. <laughs> Of, wow, of course, the starting position. QB during that Super Bowl, yeah. Um, two different franchises. He started in a Super Bowl. Oh no, no, that was a joke. No, oh, no, no. oh yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, <laughs> yeah. Yes. Oh, the best quarterback in that Super Bowl by a mile, uh, for sure. Yeah, <laughs> dude. Philip Rivers, no. I feel like hyper fixated on 2012. I want to get off of that and just think. About I know. I got. I got to expand. I got to get. I got to get out of it. Two of the two of these guys uh, taken very highly in the draft too. Oh, Carson Palmer. Carson Palmer yeah. is here. nice. Forty six then... with Cincy, thirty eight oh, with Arizona. Vinny is Vinny here, oh. dude. It it hurt me as a. It, it hurt me that Vinny Testaverde was not here. I tried to oh. expand the parameters to get him on the list, but <laughs> I just couldn't get it done. Damn. Okay. Uh, Frat Stafford doesn't have enough games with the Rams, does he? Uh-uh. Stat uh-huh. Padford, unfortunately, does not. Stat Padford. Stat Padford. Violence. <laughs> you would think that a ring would silence such slander, but it, uh-uh. it, it reemerges so quickly. Palmer was one of the guys to go to the uh, title game. Another guy went to an AFC title game. Another oh, guy. Kurt. Does Kurt have 30 with the Cardinals? Kurt does not. He's also only off by three. Oh. That's a really good guess. This list just keeps breaking my heart, this dude. Is, I was going to say, yeah, every, <laughs> every, thinking, at every like... turn. Yeah, so an active guy, a guy that got to a title game, a former number one overall pick, and two major throwbacks from the sixties and seventies. We didn't. Did we say Bledsoe? We did. Bled- yeah. Ooh, we did no, Bledsoe. we did. We did. He's a close Ooh, miss. No. Ooh, I, that, I saw. I heard the. I heard the hint. I think I got it. Okay, number one pick is a big hint. So yeah, yeah. Let's think about number that. We've pick. named a lot of them already. Yeah, Andrew Luck only played for one team. Yeah. Uh, I don't guess Jamar number one pick at quarter. Oh, I mean, man. once you guys <laughs> once you guys get to him, I think it'll be pretty easy because he was better with his second team than he was with his first. Okay, that's a good hint. Number one picks we've got Elway, not Cam Newton. Elway, mm-hmm. Bradford did, would not have done this. Ah. Oh my Not God, Ryan. Alex Smith! It's dude. Alex Smith. Oh my God! Wow. Uh, so that's five. If you guys want to go for the ten, you can, or I can give you the rest of the list. I mean, I feel like because of time, we definitely must be at our limit here. But that is a fun question. That I would that's like great. to should, that's should we a take great question one last moment on twenty twelve? Because who is that? That like. That I mean, has to he's be. He's pretty mid. Like I, I don't. I understand you guys not thinking of him. He's, he's pretty mid. 
pretty mid, but mid, but, but, uh, uh, you know, above average enough to get 30 wins on two teams. Yeah. And it's not mm. Kirk. Who's like captain mid. <laughs> I'd say he's even more mid than Kirk. Yeah. I'd say he's like the, that's like the crazy. measuring stick. Yeah. Like who is this, this guy? Not Andy Dalton. Shout out Andy Dalton. It was, oh, I was yeah. like, I was like, what? He hasn't. I don't think he was like have his play. Actually, enough. Andy Dalton might be Captain else. Mid. That's on me, guys. Yeah, it's Andy Captain Dalton Mid. Is yeah. I'd, yeah, as a Bengals fan, that's that's Captain Mid, bro. Did Smoke and Jay Cutler play long enough? Shout out Jay. I don't think he got him, enough wins with the uh, Dolphins. No, but Kyle Orton would be a, an interesting thought too. I mean, Kyle I don't think he fits the Beard. My yeah. inspiration. <laughs> Shout out. <laughs> All right, Logan, what's the rest of the list? Let it rip, yeah. Okay, so a big throwback, Craig Morton, 32 with the boys, 41 with the Broncos. Broncos, yeah. Fran Tarkenton and Y.A. Tittle were the other oh, big throwbacks. Dude, I was going to say Fran Tarkenton, but I was like, was he with the Giants long enough? And I didn't, yeah. I he didn't was. think so. The other gentleman to get to a title game, Jake the Snake Plumber with the Cardinals oh. and Broncos. And ASU finally, Ryan Tannehill. No! Wow. Oh no! Dude. <laughs> oh my That's god! Gonna... That's All insane. the guys, man. I mean, how did he get thirty in Miami with Adam that's, Gase? That's what he I was there, there. <laughs> dude. He was there for so much longer than it feels like. I mean, he spent oh a solid half decade there, consistently yeah. as a starter. That is crazy, yeah. Logan. I gotta oh say, I was crazy. I've, that was a great question to end on. This is uh this is probably going to be a Logan special, but we have to end every trivia time with a question in which we get Logan to name every quarterback to start a game from some random ass two thousands team that was not good, and he and he does it. But I mean, I think Kofi should get first stabs at anybody on this list. Can you guys name me the three quarterbacks to start a game for the two thousand seven Atlanta Falcons? Oh, this is the Bobby Petrino Falcons. Yes, this started as the Bobby Petrino Falcons. Unfortunately, oh. it didn't quite end that way. <laughs> this is yeah, no, something with a motorcycle. And or... this is this is <laughs> and this Marcus. is this is what got them, Matt Ryan. Yeah, that's correct. This is the year yeah. they got them. Okay, so we're. <laughs> I can think of two, maybe three. Uh, so we're gonna have Joey Harrington. I know for sure, right? Primary starter. Yep. Is Matt Schaub still with the Falcons? It's not Matt Schaub. Is it DJ Shockley? Well, oh. not DJ Shockley either. Is it Chris Redman? Chris Redman started four games. Let's go. Yeah, this, this is this is some deep cuts right here. <laughs> it's, Dude, yeah, it's, it's the deepest ridiculous. of deep cuts. It doesn't get it doesn't get deeper. Another Falcons QB. Um was it just one game? Two. I think I know. I no way. John, I don't think John, no. If I know this, I have an illness. Have <laughs> I think, buddy, I hate to break it to you, but this is a collective intervention. Yeah, <laughs> we're, all, yeah. we're all having one last bash, and then we got go yeah. to go to sports. That's okay. Reality. It's been a good run. <laughs> it has. We've had some times. We've had some Kofi times. knows it. Kofi, look at Derek. Kofi. He knows I, it. I, I know we have I don't know the answer. I just know we've had some good times. Yeah, yeah for sure. Remember <laughs> yeah, well, yeah, yeah, we have. I don't yeah, answer. Yeah. Yeah. Carson, did this guy play anywhere else? He did, but I'm inclined not to tell you. <laughs> just because you're a superhuman, but I will if you need it. He it's was not... with your Steelers at one point, I'll say that. Oh, I think I do know who it is. I forget he played here because he bounced around so much after Jacksonville. Is it Byron Leftwich? It's Byron Leftwich, dude. Danny, did you know that? <laughs> no, I was going to guess either Bruce Gradkowski or Kurt Ooh. Kittner uh, were the oh. two. Kittner. Kurt Kittner. Ooh. Oh, my God. <laughs> maybe maybe right. we should have that intervention. I don't know. <laughs> that, is... <laughs> that is absurd. Oh, my God. So Kurt Kittner once a... beat the Giants, and I never let him forget it. By the way, <laughs> that's absurd. By the way, that would be Kirk Kittner's only career win <laughs> is uh, that one game over the Giants. 100%. No, I mean, it literally is. I just looked it, it up. It literally <laughs> is? Are you serious? Oh, my God. It it haunts me to this day. He was 1-3. <laughs> wow. Bruce Radkowski, also fun, 
fact, like we used to do this game on TikTok where Logan would, I would just give him like a couple details about an obscure 2000s quarterback and he would get it. And one of them was Bruce Gradkowski. And it took oh. Logan like longer than it normally would, despite oh, no. him being a Steelers fan. Oh, you didn't get it at all. I didn't get it at all. Oh, and then no. he went, Bruce Gradkowski, that dude fucking sucked. And then, <laughs> and then Bruce Gradkowski commented on the video and he was no! like, No! Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he attacked Logan Steelers fandom. <laughs> Kurt Kinder, I swear to God, if you comment on any of this, <sighs> I respect right. you. Well, thank you guys. This was this was a blast. You guys killed it, and uh, super fun to have you. So, uh, shout out Kofi. You guys can find his stuff at Secret Base, but also he's streaming. He's on TikTok. Twitter is Kofi Y. Is is that both? Twitter is uh, Kofi, but I do have Kofi Y as well. I have two different accounts. Okay. But yeah, both either one works. Okay, sweet. Is there anything anything else you want to shout out to the people? Shout out. Uh, if you need to the, go to the best comedy club in Los Angeles, LA High Note, uh, every Tuesday at High Def Brewing in downtown Los Angeles, hosted by... Yeah, that was me. Yeah, that was me. <laughs> oh, by me, yeah. I, I, by me, yes. LA High Note, if you're in the area and you want to see amazing stand-up comedy and to want to talk to the host of the show about Kurt Kittner, uh, we are in downtown every Tuesday night at High Def Brewing on Tuesdays at 8. There you go. Kofi did my job for me very, very <laughs> seamlessly. So thank, thank you, you so much, you guys, for coming on. This was, this was definitely one of the uh, – one of the most fun ones of these that we've done. And, you know, these are fun. It's trivia. It's great. So appreciate you guys. If you want more of our content, you can find us across social at Nerd Sesh on TikTok and Instagram. Twitter is at Nerd underscore Sesh. You can listen to the show across audio platforms and you can subscribe to the volume YouTube page to get the full shows with video. So with that, as always, appreciate you guys. You can get yourself some Nerd Sesh merch too. Logan's got the hat. We've got the flags. We've got hoodies. We've got shirts. So that is at thevolume.com. And with that, I've been Carson Brabber. I have been Logan Camden. And this was Nerd Sesh. Nerd Sesh.